Well, hello, friends and soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Saturday, sumptuous Saturday, June 29th of 2024. So, happy Saturday to all of you out there. I hope you are all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So, use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right, lovely people, as you can see that there is a whole different setup today. I'm on vacation. I'm in South Carolina. And so, uh, yeah, I'm in the hotel and doing the reading. So like right now I'm sitting down to do today's reading and I think I also have to do tomorrow's reading because we are going to get on the road early and uh, yeah so you get a little bit of a wider view <laughs> than usual uh, so yeah so I'll yeah be recording uh, both of those and we'll be getting into yeah so happy Saturday I hope you are all up doing so very well I almost forgot to cut the day yeah, happy Saturday. So today is my birthday. So I hope, so I want to say happy birthday to any of my birthday twins who are out there. And happy birthday to any other campers who are celebrating their birthday this weekend. Oh, wow, did you see that? <laughs> this weekend or, yeah, like two of them came out. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so whoever's celebrating their birthday this weekend. So I love it. And then just looking at the cards that come have come out, we have yin energy, so like defi divine feminine energy and root energy. So I don't know if you can see these cards, but we will take a look at both of them. So we have our first chakra. I don't know. Like, yeah. So our first chakra and so this is our root chakra, Muladhara chakra, and card number 35, and it says, I lovingly accept all areas of my being that secure my survival. Yeah. I lovingly accept all areas of my being that secure my survival. So, uh, yeah, it's about us truly just tuning in to... We all have those innate instincts and stuff that keep us safe. And this is about us tuning into those instincts, that natural part of us that is very protective and accepting it, accepting that, that part of us as something that we need and love. So, yeah, I lovingly accept all areas of my being that secure my survival. We also have secondary chakra yin, card number 79. I gratefully and attentively live my motherliness. I gratefully and attentively live my motherliness. So that's totally like <laughs> a perfect affirmation, I feel, for me today, seeing how uh, yeah, I brought my dog with me on this vacation, and uh, yeah, very first vacation, bringing her eight-hour drive, you know, and it's been good. She's been doing pretty good, but definitely had to tune into my own, <laughs> my motherliness, <laughs> and so, okay, so we're going to read first the first chakra, number 35, so, all right. I lovingly accept all areas of my being that secure my survival. So, yeah, this is a whole new setup, and I hope it works out all right, but, yeah. So, meaning, if you do not learn to love the areas of your being that secure your survival, then you are rejecting the divine gift 
of life and declaring it to be worthless. This can lead to self-destructive attitudes and weaken the immune system on all levels. Learn to love these areas and thereby honor your liveliness. In the deepest essence, this is a secret that must be used for each healing. Healing Stone, Chalcedony, and Mukite, Fragrance Essence, Kayaput, and Lemongrass, Box Flower, Crab Apple, and Elm. So, uh, yeah, it's really about, you know, us tuning into this energy. And I feel that this is being brought up so that we can take a look at the way that we feel about it at present. So the, you know, the parts of ourselves that are, that act on survival kind of are usually of a lower vibration, but it's all about us accepting it because knowing that they were necessary when, you know, when those specific, you know, like when those specific things developed within us, I feel like it was necessary at that time. And so even though maybe we don't need them as much, we still should be aware of them and fully and just be in love. Love those parts of us because they're there for a reason. So I love it. Okay. Now, let's move on to the secondary chakra yin energy. So, what is the significance of these two coming out together? So, it's like, I feel like the root chakra, so think about the root of all of us. It's kind of like the mother, is, isn't it? Like... That's how I feel. I feel like the mother energy is the kind of the root energy of all of us because that's where we come from. And so, well, I mean, that's who births us into this world. And so, yeah, like it's very, I feel that these two coming out together are very perfect because the root chakra and, you know, like the motherly energy are very... I feel they're synonymous and interchangeable. All right, so I gratefully and attentively live my motherliness, meaning motherliness. This means a sense of security, warmth, caring, nourishing, and healing, and much more. Whether you have a child or not is irrelevant. Every being can give you something important if you care for it from your motherliness. This also applies to yourself. You can also develop this quality more easily if you spend energy if you send energy to the part that is responsible for it, your inner mother. Through the distance Reiki treat the distance treatment of Reiki to say to it, inner mother of your first and last name. This affirmation often points to the necessity of taking better care of yourself or those close to you, as well as healing negative ideas about motherliness. Healing Stone, Malachite, Snow Quartz, Fragrance Essence is Peppermint, and the Box Flower is Acrimony. So, yeah, we all have a, an inner mother within us, and it is, it's up to each one of us to heal that part of us whether regardless of the kind of mother that we had if we had a great mother or not it's up to us to know what the motherly part of us looks like and how it operates and why it operates if it's in distortion or a lower vibration then we should know why and we should be able to not continue to pass that, you know, like pass on that generational curse, like we don't want to do that. So it's about us healing ourselves, healing our own motherly energy so that when we heal that motherly energy within ourselves, we can pass it along as a healed energy to, you know, those around us and those that come after us. So, 
All right, well, this has been another of our readings. I hope you all found something that you resonated with. And if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up. And, you know, whether or not you subscribe to the channel is up to you. <laughs> it's, it's neutral. <laughs> so, you know, I appreciate every single subscriber that I have. But I'm not going to pressure you to subscribe. So, <laughs> but anyways, thank you all so very much for being here. I love you and appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.